prerequisite is just figure out what you have and what condition it is. Just know what your filter sizes are. You have to know if there's a MERV 9 or a MERV 11 installed. Know the age of these systems and what level of fresh air that they can actually produce. Once you have a good sense of what your systems are capable of, then you can start working with your design professional to come up with the right priorities. If you have a school with zero ventilation, then the project is going to be put in ventilation. If you have a school with great ventilation because it's modernized, filtrations, everything's there, then it might be for air cleaners or sensors. So that's why everything is broken out into stages and step by step. The entire point of the guide is just start, just begin. It's not there for doing everything. It is going to be a program that school systems and owners are creating, a program for indoor air quality. It will take time to establish. New construction should follow it, but there are also plenty of legacy buildings that can be retrofit in certain classrooms, certain HVAC systems.